What's good, man? This main boxing biker, man. I'm here to talk this boxing stuff again, man. I'm I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of Keith Thurman, man. Yo, there's so many duckers in boxing right now, but right now the spotlight is on Thurman, man. Keith, one time, duck time, Thurman, man. Yo, dude don't want no smoke, man. Like, yo, like the dude Black Fight Fan TV say, I ain't part of the LDBC, but I rock, I rock with everything they say. I, I follow those dudes and I like what they be talking about, man. They see boxing the same way I see boxing, man. And some fighters we need to stay behind and some fighters we need to let them kick rocks. Black Fight Fan broke it down. He broke it down to the T when he talked about Keith Lunchtime Thurman. And I feel him on that Lunchtime Thurman because Keith Thurman is food for a lot of welterweights right now, man. Especially Earl Spence. And wait till, yo, he better not ever, man, think of coming up there to step at Crawford. Because Crawford would give him that business too when Crawford get to 147. Keep one time, duck time, lunch time, Thurman. Don't want no problems with some of these dudes, man. Especially Errol Spence. This dude have nightmares of Errol Spence. Nigga look in the mirror in his bathtub and all he sees is Errol Spence's face. He say that name three times, Errol Spence will jump out the mirror, knock him out. And he don't like that type of work, man. He's scared, man. That man know what Earl Spence possessed. Them, that body attack, that vicious body attack. He don't want none of that. None of that he don't want, man. So the, the fact that this man is coming on TV, calling, calling Keith Thurman out. Like, yo, what up? Holler at me. What up? I want that belt. I want all the belts. Come holler at me. And Keith Thurman talking about... My next fight ain't gonna be a title fight. Oh, I wanna test out my elbow. My man, test out your elbow in sparring. That's what sparring is for. Sparring is to see if you're ready for the real fight. So test your elbow out in the sparring. See how it works out. If your elbow work out good in sparring, what you, what else you looking for, man? You don't gotta test your elbow out in the actual boxing match. You can test it out in sparring. In fact, sparring is just as hard as the real boxing match. Stop being a pussy. Get out here and fight Errol Spence, man. If you take an L, we'll respect you. But the longer you duck, when you take that L, my nigga, nobody's going to back you up. We all going to drop you, boy. In fact, niggas dropped you already because you fronting. You scared. You don't want that work with Errol Spence. Yo, this nigga... <laughs> this nigga remind me of, of the movie Troy, boy. There's a scene in the movie Troy where this dude was talking about... This little kid went up to Brad Pitt. And he's like, oh, he's the biggest man I've ever seen. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to fight him. And Brad Pitt walked up to the dude and he said, I'll fight him. And Brad Pitt said to the kid, and that's why they won't remember your name. Facts, Keith Thurman, that's why they won't remember your name. You don't want that problem. If you see the boogeyman step up and face him, you can't, you can't hide all the time. Niggas can't hide from Freddy Krueger in your sleep. You got to face him. You can't hide from the boogeyman. You got to face him. And if you see a boogeyman, you better face him. And if you don't face him and you get the boogie time, a.k.a. run time, nigga, we not, we not going to respect you. You got to fight this dude. Listen, man, if you, wait till 10, if you wait till 2019 to make this fight, your respect will be gone by the damn mid quarter, by the first quarter of 2018, boy. By 2018, if we don't hear Keith Thurman is fighting Earl Spence or some type of paperwork sign where we got this fight coming, boy, niggas is dropping you. In fact, we already dropped you for the most part. All we would, all we want you is get, we just want you to get out of the way, man. Drop the belts or whatever. Earl Spence want the belts. Give that man the belt, man. Just give him the belt and say, yo, I don't want no problems. I'm sorry. It's a, you know, I, I just want to be happy with my wife. And, you know, I, I just want to be happy with my wife and my life. And I don't want no problems. Here's the belt. I'm going to back out your way and go ahead and do your thing. Every time I spend look at this dude, this dude turn away. Yo, he's shook. He is wild shook. I don't want like I don't like my champions like that, man. When I get a champ in boxing or any sport, I like my champs to be confident. I like my champs to know I like to know my champ is a bad man, you feel me? The man take on any champ any competitor, any champion thinking that they could rock in his world, he's like, yo, I'm the champs of all champ. You feel me? Come holler at me, man. But yo, Keith Thurman not looking like that. Keith Thurman looking wild scared, man. The fact that he's so scared when he do get into the fight. Earl Spence is already going to have the upper hand because Keith Thurman is going to be shook. He's going to be timid. He's not going to want to throw no punches, man. When you're scared, you don't punch as hard as you should. When you're scared and you get punched, you fall easier too, man. I see a vicious knockout coming. You know what it is? Keith Thurman 
don't want to end up being a meme. And the fact is, Earl Spence turned these dudes into memes. He turned me don't want to be turned into a meme. He don't want to be the social media meme for the next two, three weeks, man. And that's why he shook. But believe it or not, boy, when you do take that fight, your ponytail will be on the ground. Boy, your ponytail will be tied up in the ropes just like fucking... <laughs> Yo, these dudes is killing me. The same way fucking Deontay Wilder had Bermain Stavern ponytail tied up in the ropes. Nigga, the same way your ponytail be tied up in the ropes, man. It's a wrap for you. You might as well cut your ponytail off before you get that fight. Because Earl Spencer hang you by your ponytail, boy pussy. Take the fight, nigga. What's good, man?